This morning, I didn't think that I was going to be able to make it. I mean, I've been I've been fighting with this eye infection, right? And the eye infection, it was kind of swollen. And I was thinking inside my head, I'm like, hey, how is an eye infection going to stop me from moving my feet? I might get a little sweat in my eye. It might sting a little bit. I, mean, I got things to do. I came out here, and this used to be family dollar, right? <laughs> until a lot of wonderful people, they thought that stealing deodorant and tobacco and alcohol was more important than me being able to go to the store. But I was able to come outside and you get to see that the sun is about to rise and make it so beautiful on the bayou. How could I miss this for anything? Just because I got a messed up, I'm gonna miss that? No, I'm not. I put my shoes on and I said, come on, I, you big swollen ass, I, let's go get it. And here we are. Last week, my life was as dark as it is outside. Since I have this fantastic camera, you can barely tell that I'm walking in the darkness. It makes everything so illuminated. I think that's fantastic. I, I think that's great. <laughs> you can see me. <laughs> I'm wearing all black. Walking down the street wearing all black is never a good idea, especially over here where I stay at, uh, where these drivers, they don't drive that good. And so I can easily be a, a casualty, another statistic. Most people in America, they're probably gonna die from a car accident. And so before you think about gun violence, why do we have all these cars on the road? Why are cars so, so, so important to our lives when they kill so many of us? I think that's the opposite conversation that you can have for the other side, the, uh, the Democratic Party who doesn't like guns. <laughs> I don't have any political affiliation. I am an American citizen who wants to fight for freedom. And freedom, man, sometimes we could be a slave to ourselves. I think that's like where I wanted to start at today is that I didn't want to come out here because I was saying it was my eye, but it was really, it was really my brain. My brain was broken. The United States Veterans Office, that Veterans Affairs Office, when I go to the hospital, they tell me I got depression, anxiety, PTSD, all these things. They tag it all these things. And I could easily just allow their diagnosis to be my reality for my life. But I don't want that. They prescribed me all types of medications. And some of these medications made me feel even worse. Do you know what it's like for someone to tell you that you're going to take a medication for eight weeks and maybe after eight weeks you might feel a little bit better? Like it's supposed to give you hope, but all it did was really annoy me because I want to feel better right now. But that's not how life works. Life isn't this instant gratification, Burger King, have it your way right away. Nah, that's not what it is. Sometimes you just gotta do the work, put one foot in front of the other, and you just gotta keep going. And I love coming to the bayou, especially over here where they have these, these trails and you get to see the bridge because it's like a bridge to my future right now. I'm in a hard time. Oh my God, that's a fucking snake. I don't know if you could see that bitch, but it's trying to get warm. Oh shit, that's crazy. He scared the hell out of me. What if he just jumped out and just leaped at me? Would that be wild or what? I hope that you can see it. That looks like a, a, a poisonous snake. If I could get closer, I would. But I'm not finna play with that bad fellow. <laughs> we got things to do. We got to go see the sunrise. But it was impressive. They said that you get to see the most amazing things out here on the bayou and seeing that snake on that rail it was quite amazing and as I'm going on this journey I don't want to hold myself hostage to what other people told me is wrong with me I know what's wrong with me I know what's hurting inside of me <laughs> I know when I have bad irrational thoughts and I think it's up to me to try to fix it anybody in America especially you dear American citizen the greatest American alive if you have any type of mental illness, it's just like a physical illness. I wanted my eye to get better, so I had to put warm compresses on my eye. I had to go to the doctor, and the doctor gave me some ointment to put in the corner of my eye. There was a way to fix the physical uh, inflammation when it comes to depression and anxiety. There are ways to fix the mental, the fog and the mental inflammation. It comes from moving your feet. <laughs> From changing your perspective, like the uh, physical physical uh, exertion, <laughs> please just deal with me. Because I'm trying to get through it. Uh, last week was hard. And I, it was hard for me to move my feet. I was blocking myself. I was blocking my thoughts. I was blocking my blessings by thinking about so much negativity, all the things that I can't do. I forgot to remind myself of all the things that I can do. I forgot that 
that this was waiting for me. The God said, all oh, this is for you, man. Blessings are out here for you. How far do you want to go? What do you want to see? And my field of vision is all up to me. I get to see whatever I want to see, depending on how far I want to go, how hard I'm willing to work. <clears throat> and my mental well-being, it's about how hard I'm willing to work. Am I willing to do the cognitive exercises that are going to help me to think better thoughts so that I can have better actions, so I can be a better me, so I can be a happier person? I mean, I'm not telling that you, you, you can solve, man. You can't make bipolar go away. You can't make your depression go away. Just by having positive actions, it's not going to change your diagnosis, but it can change the quality of your life. And I think that's what we're all going for, is we want the most best quality of life that we can possibly have, and that comes from us. I look at my life, and if I, if I live in poverty, if I ain't got no money, all these things can affect the way that I think, but also I can be so thankful. Because even though I got no car, I still got these feet. <laughs> If you if you single and you ain't got no no person, if you ain't got no lover, you can still love yourself. These are the negotiations that we make with ourselves until we get to the place where we can be okay. And I gotta be okay. I gotta man, I gotta save myself. No doctor in the world can save me. No woman in the world can save me. I know a lot of pastors. They be like, man, Jesus can save you. Jesus can save you. Jesus gives you an option. God gives you an option. That you can receive the information and do the work that improves the quality of life. But you can also say no. You can tell God no. You can tell Jesus no. So if you can tell God no, how powerful are you? Yeah, process that for a second. For all my religious warriors in the world who tell me that the only way that I can feel better, the only savior that I have is Jesus. If I'm the only person that Jesus acknowledges, that if, if I acknowledge my sins, that then there'll be a transaction where I'll be forgiven. Well, that means I'm powerful. And until I get to a place where I accept the fact that I'm, that I'm the ultimate power source in my life, then everything looks crazy. If I surrender myself to anything outside of myself, then I'm giving everything outside of me power and I give myself no power. What does this mean? When I'm having my thoughts out here, I control my thoughts. I control what I think. When I pray to my God, I control my prayer. My whole experience is based on, on how I perceive the world around me. My whole experience is based on how I perceive myself. And so when I wake up and I'm having dark thoughts, I'm having long weeks because I miss my children. There could be a number of different reasons for why I feel the way that I feel. But the way that I handle these emotions, that's up to me. The way that I respond to these mental challenges, that, that tells me what kind of person I am. That tells me what kind of character I have. Like, I want to have this engaging conversation with you. When I'm talking to you, I know that I'm talking to myself. This is a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me. And if you're listening to me, I hope you understand that this is a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. If you hear my voice, this is just yourself talking to yourself and asking, what are you going to do to change the quality of your life? How can you make sure that your mental well-being is great? How can you ensure that your physical well-being is great? Your strength, your power, your entire future is up to you. You remember Captain Planet? The power is yours. Hell yeah, they gave us this propaganda. <coughs> and they told us all the things that we can do if we tried. But it never was a self-belief. I can build a company from scratch if I choose to. I can build a religion from scratch if I choose to. I can build a city if I want to. All these things are possible if I use my imagination. My imagination, that can be called mental health. If having a broken brain is, 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 a, is mental illness, then mental wellness, mental wealth is me having powerful thoughts and being able to imagine a world that's more better than the one that I've already created for myself. Hell yeah. We can all have excuses. I can create excuses. There was a reason for me not to come outside this morning. My eye, my eye. Fearfulness of one part of my body prevents me from using the rest of my body to go and be great. Whatever the hindrance in your brain is, accepting that hindrance as a total mental shutdown is a catastrophe in thinking, and you got to think better thoughts. Hey, how does, how does this ailment, how does this mental illness, how does it propel me to go do better? <laughs> Where, where's the challenge? And if I acknowledge that challenge and I choose to go forth, then how can I be stronger, better, faster, brighter, smarter? What advantage does this give me? Kanye West said, 
This ain't no mental illness. This is my superpower. This is my superpower. Because perspective is only me telling myself a more positive story. Are you with me? Huh? Are you following along? Are you thinking, hell no, nah, there's no way. My life is just really hard. I have every reason in the world to be a failure. No one believes in me. No one will ever believe in me. That's negative self-talk. Those are all your own words. Even if you heard someone else say these things to you, their words don't have no impact on you unless you absorb it, internalize it, and be like, man, that really is me. I really am a no good for nothing, da 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 da. Man, let all that go. Let all those negative things go. Listen to this out here. I hear bugs, I hear birds, I hear God talking to me. And God is telling me that all this, I designed all this. And I designed you too. If I design all this and I designed you too, you don't think I got something beautiful for you? I made those flowers. If you can see those flowers in this darkness, if you can see it, then you understand that God made something so wonderful. He also made that fence. He made the fence in my brain too. <laughs> The fence that I have in my brain that I use to imprison myself, God created that too, but I'm who put it up. <laughs> I wove that fence together and I made myself a prisoner to my own mind. But this morning I chose to be free. <laughs> this morning I chose to put my shoes on and, and, and to deny all of the negative thoughts and say, man, there's something great for me outside. If I go move my feet, then I'll become more better. You see, I'm spitting up all this phlegm because I smoke. I smoke TAC. I smoke tobacco. I try to escape from these hard feelings however I can and most of the time it's not in a positive way so when I get to celebrate the victories and when it's not alcohol because I battle alcoholism too if we're gonna be if we're gonna be friends if I'm gonna be friends with myself I gotta be honest with myself I'm gonna be friends with you I gotta be honest with you man I, I suffer from alcoholism sometimes and this right here I mean I'm sweating out pure 90 percent alcohol my lungs are trying to process tar and shit right now I'm trying to fix all the things that I've broken and all I really want to do is hug my children. Yeah, 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 huh? And all I really want to do is have positive re relationships with the mothers of my children. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you do all these things? Man, you better be the most powerful version of yourself ever. Yeah, man, I got to love me. I got to love me some me because ain't nobody going to love me until I love me. And that just comes from life in general. So now if I'm talking about a physical illness, if I'm talking about a mental illness, if I'm talking about anything that's holding me back, any obstacle, then I get to make a decision to say, I'm going to win. I'm going to be a winner. I'm going to be a winner for myself. I'm going to be a winner for my children. I'm going to be a winner for the world around me. I'm going to tell the doctor, hell yeah, doctor, I have, I have uh, uh, all those mental diagnoses that you gave me. But I'll, I'm also a millionaire. <laughs> I'm a person who's bipolar and I'm also a millionaire. Hi, how about that? You see how you could change the narrative? Say, man, I do suffer from depression. Man, but I but I I live a healthy lifestyle, eat healthy food, and I'm available to my friends. I'm a great friend. Hi, I have depression, but I'm also a great friend. Hi, I have anxiety. But I also do the work to go and do my yoga. I read my positive um, uh, affirmations. And, and when I do these things, I show up for the world around me. And I become the most powerful, effective version of myself. I'm looking for all the things that make me powerful. And I'm not looking for my limitations. And when I do find my limitations, all that means is I'm going to use that to my advantage. Just say, okay, that's not where I'm strong at. So let me change my perspective. Let me change my focal point. And let me, fo let me focus on something beautiful. <clears throat> let me not focus on things that I'm not good at. Let me focus on things that make me great. Hell yeah. Whatever the battle is, whatever you're going through, focus on what makes you great. <laughs> and go be great, man. The greatest American alive.